Proclamation for proclaiming the new sovereign in the United Kingdom. Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late sovereign, Lady Queen Elizabeth II, of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We therefore, the Lord Spiritual and Temporal of this realm, and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of Her Late Majesty's Privy Council, and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London, and others do now hereby with one voice and consent of tongue and heart publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory become our only lawful and rightful liege lord Charles III by the grace of God, of the United Kingdom, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God, by whom kings and queens do reign to bless his majesty, with long and happy years to reign over us. Given at St. James's Palace on this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord 2022. God save the King. God, God save, save the, the King. King. I thank you. Sorry. Thank you from the Mayor for being here on this historic and momentous occasion. I'd just like to quote a few words from Philip Larkin. And these words were quoted in the House of Commons on Friday by Sir Keir Starmer and Dame Diana Johnson. In times when nothing stood, but worsened or grew strange, there was one constant good. She did not change. And what an act to follow. I'm sure that our new King Charles III will be more than up to the task. And this is a very earnest task. I would like to hand over now to the Deputy Lieutenant of the East Riding of Yorkshire, Chris Blacksell, who would like to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you Ladies and gentlemen, pray silence for the Deputy Lieutenant of the East Riding of Yorkshire, Mr. Chris Blacksell. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, I really just wanted to say thank you on behalf of the East Riding of Yorkshire Lieutenancy. Uh, the Lieutenancy is the group of people that uh, represent the monarchy in the area through the Lord Lieutenant. So a huge thank you for everyone to be, for being here today. A huge thank you to the Mayor and the rest of uh, uh, Hedden Town Council on what is an incredibly historic day for the town of Hedden, for the United Kingdom, for the entire Commonwealth and indeed the world. I'm sure everyone was as saddened as I was when we heard of the passing 
of Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II. Um, she's reigned uh, and served for 70 years uh, and I think done so tirelessly with incredible compassion and incredible dignity. I know that it will be difficult to actually think of a time without her really, but she's built on, uh, she leaves a great legacy I think for King Charles III to build on and I'm sure that that's exactly what he'll do. So thank you again. God save the King. God, God save, save the King. king. To finish off, ladies and gentlemen, we will have three cheers to King. If you are wearing a headdress, could I ask you please to remove headdress? Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Replace headdress! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to return to the town hall. We wish you all the very best for today. God save the King. God save the King.